thing. Good morning, Steph is here. I'm leaving her there on the screen. Let's play some music and we'll start in a second. from a very 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 cold Toronto um, I was just checking the, the forecast and it says it's minus 8 feels like minus 15 I'll translate it to Fahrenheit which means 18 Fahrenheit and it feels like an idea so luckily it's a sunshine so it doesn't feel as horrible as kind of like it looks uh, I know that uh, Kyle is on the other side for all which is complaining about the heat etc but we have this polar vortex week and something so now we have like three four days it was really mild in winter so i have my coffee pinis over here um mr tiger is okay i think yeah he's fully asleep right now he has two hours of uh, running around with his girlfriend Bodica. now he's like okay give me some sleep so <coughs> let's jump in let me have this aquarius season guide guys 
happy birthday, Aquarian. Thirty is going to be actually shifting to Pisces. So, so I see we have very few people over here. So either people are enjoying their coffees or on their own. They're neglecting us, but I think we can do it completely on our own. So, man, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. <coughs> kind of like it's going to be lots of... So I'm thinking today I'm going to do... Uh, and I forgot what to work with. I really like it. And I'm going to use gypsy card if I need to. And I thought to use a room. Simple to send a message to every single sign. What's going on here? I'm seeing certain things on the screen and nothing is really working properly and now I'm moving this. It worked out. <coughs> So, okay, what's up? Turning out, one is queen of wands, one is three of wands. Up at the bottom, it is eight of wands. So, it looks like we are waking up, like most times, at this time of the year, they feel, hello, I'm looking yogi. It feels like, oh my gosh, you know, this is winter, I just want to cocoon, I want to be inside. But Aquarians are puttering around, so let me just <coughs> show you a decent screen here. <coughs> it takes a while for me to coordinate this and figure out where to place it. So, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, and Eight of Wands. So we have literally Aquarius here being cold, right? Because the Three of is 11. Aquarians are the 11th sign of the Zodiac. So there's a really shout out to us. Really telling us you're going to be a busy bee. We'll be doing stuff. We'll be putting around Queen of Wands. We are stepping in those big shoes. We kind of like want to do things, whatever they are walking around, fixing things, uh, dating, cleaning things at home, like whatever I really want. Good morning, Lorna. Hello. It's just nice to see you. So here what is really happening is also looks like you're setting goals. It's really weird because that's what I was doing last night and I kind of like for February, which is seven days before. And kind of like I said, kind of like let's kind of like revamp everything. Let me just get the <coughs> so when it comes through. You see, it is us. Kind of like it focuses on us, the Queen of Wands coming out, which kind of like really signifies that we are stepping in our shoes. And if you're a guy, Aquarius, it doesn't matter that a, whom, a woman is in a picture because this is still a generic reading. It might be a lot of communication. Um, this week is ending up on the 29th. So when we get here back on the 30th, we will go officially into Mercury retrograde. I always had, I already had, for, as I told you, I get affected in the shadows, and so I got my business got audited, things from the past are coming up. What else happened? Something with the computer I had to fix, the mouse doesn't drive properly. So <coughs> it's just like really awful. I would really wish that each Mercury retrograde kind of would be on vacation. So I don't really have to deal with the roots over here. First morning. And, woo, this arrow is shooting down. Whenever I see these arrows, I always think about the soldiers and really kind of like what's their willingness and obligation. This is the rune of commitment. It is called Tivas. And actually, believe it or not, even though it's reversed, it is connecting to our star card because this is the rune <coughs> number 17, right? So it is really interesting because otherwise everything is a really happy, everything is positive. You're kind of looking in a new direction. If you guys want to date, the deal we to go in this direction, right? Because the key concept here, this is a name after the Norse god of war, right? And hence, right? But this also suggests conflict of some type, right? So I guess it's really kind of like what I'm picking up as a feeling is maybe we kind of like are going to be just simply erecting barriers. It's sort of like it's going to be some kind of like defense because this is also the rune of promises, right? So don't take it lightly, right? Because also be very careful not to do anything that is underhanded or or dishonorable because you know how quote unquote military would deal with that. They will be kind of like keep in mind that you have to be uh, the danger of this rune because this is technically war and military belongs to men. It's more of a danger for women because it can imply betrayal by men. It looks to me that more or less it could be that if you're dating, that is going to be some kind of relationship that maybe shows signs of it might be lasting, or the overwhelmingly positive. Of. It's really reminding us that just because we are doing everything that's given the door anywhere we want to do, while being our actions or parents. So Aquarian, 
the messages are going to be very welcoming and that's maybe why if you're guys in a relationship or you know, it works out in this relationship the things are going to kind of go ahead so i think everything will a bit of grain of salt this week because they, especially i see that if you're kind of like in this initial stages of online dating everything everybody's so rosy and so freaking perfect and none of us is perfect or rosy and even like if you're like 100 years old you're still thinking that oh that oh my gosh the wool is going to be pulled off our own faces just like we are going to do it to ourselves and later like it's going to be different but hey you know what why not to enjoy it while it's like oh my gosh you have minus 19 oh my freaking god but you're aware you're like in Alberta or in Saskatchewan that's right they're even colder than Toronto and I'm here with minus 8 complaining went for a walk with Mr. This. did you guys see those videos when we throw water outside like here it's evaporating but you know so that's it Aquarius you know um I know you know the difference between the right and wrong and I know that why not to enjoy the attention that's something kind of like about this <coughs> and and did you notice that my coughing is getting better? Microbiome therapy. As I read, this doctor of microbiome is basically the base of our immune system. And it's also spectacular for coronavirus. You've heard that. So I would recommend you guys looking into that. The next one will be Sagittarius. Did you, oh, sorry, I'm just seeing making yoga. You watch OA this week. Wasn't this really interesting? Uh, it had Edward Norton in it. I know that uh, Brad Pitt is the person. I watched The Illusionist. Thank you for recommendation. It was actually really good. I don't know how I missed this movie. So, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you're either toying with Aquarius and you're really, really toying, or some Aquarius is coming towards you from the past, or the Aquarian type of the energy. So what is the Aquarian type of the energy? It's kind of like free-flowing. Somebody is like really quirky or somebody just like throws some stuff at you just kind of like you don't take yourself seriously when we get stressed out every sign doesn't react the way we are right aquarians if they're quirky they all of a sudden become serious right leo this is usually very kind of like generous they become right so we almost depending on the amount of the stress going to the opposite of who we really are so interestingly enough like you have this energy of temperance coming through right because of 17 17 base goes down to eight. So it's really telling you that your energy is nice. It's just telling me that you're already going to start feeling a little bit of bit of that, right? And that's kind of like what is really, really important over here. So it is really important over here also to um, really realize there is like a flow of energy that has to happen. Maybe somebody is telling, maybe somebody is opening the door of communication, expecting, but also hoping for the best. Right? Because this page of wands, look at it, it's you. It can be something that thought, it could be like some of the messages that will fly to you from a Facebook, or it sounds to me like page of wands is really, really fast. It could be really electronic here as well, especially when combined with it. And there is like some level of hope, and it almost like really feels to me there is something jumping up from the past. If not, you are going to get also that feeling of, oh my gosh, I think every single sign is really benefiting out of it, with fire signs and air signs benefiting the most, right? I feel like some additional information here for you. And there is a lot of melancholy. Did I not say this? Uh, I don't think that you will have any melancholy, but maybe, I guess, it can be seen as a melancholy because you're going to feel, you're going to feel like, oh, what? What would happen? Happen. You know, almost like going to how the entire movie kind of like running, woo, and before your eyes. So now I don't know what I should. Usually this room is telling you to f off. It's telling you like, what the hell are you? Maybe like I mean, you have somebody idolize this person. Maybe wouldn't date a person like that if this person like that shows up, and yet you feel this deep. So this is the blank room, right? and it's kind of like not coming in the original set so it is an optional use of this so meaning of that is that you know this was the first thing that kind of like i see i always stop it's, it's almost like that maybe i'm summoning whatever you want to call it i, I never feel comfortable to say angels or spirit guides 
but I know like all of a sudden these messages come to me, right? In addition to the cards that I know the archetypes and then kind of like this is all flowing. So I know this energy there, whatever we really want to need. When this kind of like shows up, it's like, look, I'm busy. I'm right now busy. Call me later kind of a thing, right? So this is telling me that you are approaching guys some kind of a period where free will will have a very low influence. Very, very low. Events will progress the way they should be. Something brewing, there's like something already pre-existing in your city. And kind of like, this is really telling you that right now, if, if there's like something that you really, really want, let's say, right? Then this is telling you just kind of like put it aside. Whatever it is to kind of like really, really work out. And maybe this is what it is. Like maybe you want to spring into some relationship with somebody from the past. And maybe there's like even potential, but it's also kind of like holding you back. There is like some essence over here that I also see that could be some kind of regret to find a, especially for those of people who are maybe like this separated. So like pick up the pieces and start again. This is beauty about this card. You need to get, in order to function, to function really, really well in the future. So my message to you would be that you just simply need to accept the past, either God or your thoughts. It can be done to move beyond the situation. Because right now, it's almost like when you go in a car wash. It's only to put it in neutral. And it just drives to a little piece while everything is done to your car. Okay, so guys, and things are going to really happen that will be actually quite amazing. Ah, let's catch up before I go to the next one. Mm, I'm seeing some recommendations. Yeah, Kylie, check out QA. Uh, OA, sorry, not QA. It's the original Angel. It's on Netflix. You'll be out of love because they just get too sad each and every time. So. Right? Wasn't it kind of really different? Like the story, like maybe for some people it can be too slow. And I was almost like thinking, what did I get myself in? And it goes very, very slow. The second one goes lift up, and you cannot watch the second one without the first. It all kind of starts. Oh, you don't have Netflix. I watched also La Pan. I really didn't like the part that I couldn't just watch. With subtitle, it was dubbed because I always feel like something of the passion of the original actor is like, no! Without much further ado, you don't want it to be. Man, YouTube really screwed up. See, that's the problem with uh, Mercury retrograde. Things don't really work out the way they should. I wonder where Kat is? What do you mean, where am I? It sounds to me that your state of mind is, is either like there was a breakup of some sort, or maybe you're dating somebody where you don't know where you are at with this person comes and goes because neither one can actually indicate a booty call. The two of swords, it means, again, you're like a big heart. You're leaning toward like providing that big heart, right? Versus versus analyzing the situation and where and how this stands because there's like something that your maybe intellect would inform you. Like you're like turning blind eye to it. This woman here is blindfolded. You need to remove this blindfold. You need to see situation as is. Your idolizing situation because this is going to go down here. Look at that. So your sword, and even though it's reversed, it's you're going to land on your feet. And look at those are fairies around that are kind. The sword, and somebody saying something insensitive, <laughs> actually insensitive. A friend of mine, like I invited her to try my cauliflower crust, which I recommend, and I think it's fantastic. Not the one that you purchase, but the one that you make it yourself. Rice the cauliflower, steam it. Mix it with some spices and some cheese and uh, with an egg, bake the crust, toppings, and it's like amazing. You can just eat a tiny little piece, interestingly enough. She said, oh, I love it, I love it, it's so nice. And then she started talking about the pizza plate that she likes. So that goes about it. This was not really sensitive, but I kind of like got the message, right? The same thing here. You guys did get the message. You know the message, but you are keeping your eyes closed over here. There are certain things that really, really need to happen. So, let me just get the, uh, this so we can kind of look at it. There are so many things on the table. And I'm not minimalist, I'm maybe even maximalist, but in my working space, I like things to really be clean, etc. So, where the cat is, she said she goes back from walking Tiger. Hope he's all well. No, Tiger has to be walked first thing. I live in an apartment. I don't have a choice but to actually really walk in the first thing in the morning. Bodily functions, right? And he kind of like lives for it. Like he jumps in the bed. So 
wake up a couple of hours before I work, and so he gets at least an hour walk. So I don't have even a balcony so bad. So this is the room number, oh no, that's not Fago, this is Ansu. Fago goes up, and I always mix them up. And it's also very good, this is the room of the divine. So interestingly enough, you're getting a priest, which kind of like always comes along. It could be the sum of your dealing with some kind of legal, maybe some of you separated, maybe uh, even though you're separated, there is like a, there is like a guest combination of also represent you in terms of finding the way out over here. It's actually really, really good room. And it's considered a room of inspiration. And that's what I'm saying to somebody you're married to. You are going to see all of a sudden a development of entirely senses, right? It's going to be very swift, this card is. And you might be maybe almost like at a loss how to deal with the issue. Maybe it's something or something, but your conscious mind could be in confusion as we see over here, right? Entirely know what to do because that's kind of the spirit guides and your spirituality that is really kind of like really important, right? But it's really, really interesting, right? This room, like Norse rooms, are basically ruled by Odin, right? These are Odin messages. So we are basically I'm um, trying to tap into that mythology or teaching, whatever you want to call it, right? So this means that Odin himself will guide you. So it's not like and maybe this is why we got the other room. And maybe this is kind of telling me, okay, I'm here, I'm taking over. And from all the signs, of course, you will be the one because you're already kind of like following the instruction. So it's almost going to be some kind of spiritual intervention, and it's going to be very inspirational. And if you're sad, if you're sad in particular, this is where we lose ability to really connect, but oh my gosh, how many messages you can get. So don't beat yourself over your head, this shouldn't happen, this shouldn't happen. This kind of like a combination or some communication, or maybe you're going to communicate something, and somebody else is going to communicate something else to you, and hence you're going to start gluing things together. So answers to you guys because you're Pisces might come you like in form of meaningful dreams or very very strange coincidences I'm going to tell you last week I was testing my own because from time to time I doubt which is good because if you don't doubt if you think you're only powerful or something that that's kind of like a little bit weird right to say the least so I said I was playing a card game and I was losing and losing and losing and I said, oh my gosh, I'm so tired of losing. It looks like the spell is kind of like downfall. And I said, guys, turn my luck around. I need to turn this around. Prove to me this that you're there. And I literally lost maybe ah, 30 parties in the So of course it was just around the corner that I have to win. I know that logically, statistically, but I was telling this to myself of every single party before. Um, and I don't need to just win one, but I need to win. I'm just, I'm Ten consecutive ten. It's like a breeze, and everyone's like, "What are you cheating? Are you cracking this stuff?" Because it's all of a sudden kind of like really, really works for him. And then I said, "Okay, this was a fluke. This is a mathematical just fluke. It just like simply happened the same way." Perspective. I am not a religious person, and I'm actually very, very skeptical. So for me doing this, I mean, it really takes lots of explanation. All I heard literally was it's like all I could comprehend. And they're like, I have chills. So guys, this is freaking a real thing. And I'm sure that every single one has ability to do that. Did you guys not see Sappy who was here waiting for, for us to do it? Let's go for Sappy, Sappy, Sappy! Matrix, Matrix, Matrix! Come over! Come, baby! So guys, the, the, the um, peace dude, he is really talking about some kind of advice. He's also talking about a connection over here, right? It could be also about legal opinions over here. Maybe it's going to be a part of it about something. And maybe, um, maybe there's like opinion about separation. Maybe there's opinion about inheritance of some sort in the past. Which usually, come on, Matrix. I'm hearing some murmur. Usually he kind of just goes murmur. Maybe in the past you kind of like now have to figure out how to repair something, or legal issues are coming, or bills are coming. Think, right? You kind of like really need to kind of look assessment of your, and it's very, very important here, distinction, right? So here, you may have done everything legally right, something morally wrong. So overall, as I said, maybe the first few days are going to be like cold, but then things are really, really going to come with some kind of message, with some dreams and signs, and maybe Alexa, whatever you have. Pay attention. It can come from 
anywhere. Yeah, I've had it before to tell you something like that, and it was the flicking lights and stuff, but I was like always saying, okay, let's see what's fine. That can be, uh, this, I can't, except clearly perfect. And it was Alexa voice. I didn't have a television on, I didn't have anything else turned on. No. Nothing else followed up. So, let's see who is next. Let's catch up with, uh, she's fine, guys. We'll know soon. Who is fine? Who is fine? talk about uh, Nafi or Matrix at the beginning of the video she was participating so oh by the way guys you still want your annual um, I'm almost almost finishing with all these orders hopefully by the end of January I'll do it so I still can squeeze few but then I'm going to open it up to everybody so let's see oh my gosh beach we, we are expecting a foot of snow on the beach because what it's almost like a rain that we are talking to Gemini with your Gemini you are next and let's get here. It throws a lake over here. Uh, and actually when you come closer to the lake, it's colder because it has that lake effect because the wind blows over the ice and shoo, So it's basically trying to stay away from the lake as much as they can. But then it would be nice to live next to the lake. And so you have the world. Oh my gosh. Ta-da! A karma card. Something is happening. Something is happening right away for you, my dear gentlemen. And right away you're jumping into the next stage. It almost looks like you went to the movies to see a movie and then you said, okay, I'm not going to process this and you're just going to another room and you're watching something else. So you have the world, you have Ten of Swords, you have the chariot. It almost looks like that somebody wants to step in and take your wind away and you are really not liking that. You are going to have a little glitch, let's say, in a week because somebody is going to have a form of jealousy or going to be a form of betrayal or, or something and you are going to just completely uh, raise yourself above it to the chair. This is actually a really, really good combination. With pleasure seekers, I don't know, let's say if this is a love situation. Pleasure seekers always talk about, uh, if you just talk about guys getting together, right? Depending on the other cards. So this could be simply that you find something out about someone, right? It could be, let's say, boyfriend, girlfriend, who say, oh, I'm just going to get together with my girlfriend. And instead of getting together with your girlfriend, you find, actually, that's how I found out one of my boyfriends. He said, oh, I just, I'm just out with the boys. And funny enough, he said he was in a place where I was. And I said, oh, and the place is like, 15 by 15, and so oh, I didn't see you, kind of a thing, and that was the end of that, right? So you got Berkana, you got the rune of birth, which kind of like does make sense after quote unquote the death here. Um, I don't know guys, if you have been in something that is like a situation where you feel that maybe you kind of got quote unquote being set up, or there's a third party, or there's like a main, like most of us in the situation where the other people are kind of telling us what to do and then we kind of like present it. Uh, in your case it could be even several people because there are some kind of errors in judgment that maybe you're going to observe, maybe it's going to be you who do it, right? Also people talk about that and to be very careful because if something is useless or unwise or counterproductive, it can be deemed as incompetent. So both in love and careers, that's kind of what's really important. And then you're getting Burkana, and Burkana is rune of birth, as I said, right? So it's really talking possibly about arrival of a new baby, but definitely in a symbolic sense, like just like in the Lenormand, it really kind of like talks about um, new beginning. There is like, and it's like not just something that is going to happen uh, today at noon, right? It is something that you had it in the back of your mind, it's brewing, right? So birth usually happens after nine to ten months, Right? You have to look back in that period of time and think, what kind of thoughts are going through this? This room is technically also connected with reproductive cycle, right? Um, in health matters, usually people really like to see this room when you're kind of like getting for health matters. You know that I don't do it, but that simply means that the cure has been found. It's really going in a direction and it can also talk about the connection between you and your mother and there is like this bond that needs to be explored about anything, right? This is a really, really, really good omen, especially for people, for example, who cannot get pregnant. What is really more important here is, and this is interesting about your reading, the Burkana, marriage, 
research and nurturing partnerships. So if you're a woman and you're heading in a new relationship, you will be the one taking the lead, also providing that almost like immovable support. Partner is also associated with um, with March, with a new moon in March, and that's kind of like where you kind of like maybe it's starting to really manifest, even though it has been maybe percolating in your head, this will be manifested in March. It's also linked to the birch tree, which to me is the most beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's just too bad that it doesn't live very long, right? But this is really, really uh, uplifting, and no wonder that Norse's are called it put together tree for the festivals, and etc., etc., right? So guys, something about child, children, you is going to be really important. You want to almost like feel in the wall, but then right after you realize that it's going to be really good because it's going to be some kind of block. Some people will tell you no, and you're not going to take this no for the final answer. And because you didn't, oh, chariot is a great card. It's kind of like going towards your goals. The only caveat is, even though this is talking about uh, marriage, I really think that some of you will actually really want to go so forward, kind of like, and someone's going to be revealed that it's people who were naysayers that you kind of like to be really well for. Okay. Okay. So, better is direct. Uranus is direct. So, what? What, you guys don't have audio? I should be really working, working out. I just turned the volume up. I didn't care on the phone or something. Uh, or try to close the browser and try again. Let's the Mercury retrograde by heading into which is already happening, which kind of reminds me that maybe, heck, you never know, like it happened before, Barbie was going nuts right now, right? When it just didn't show up and show up for five minutes or something. Saturday hasn't started yet, but I don't understand you guys. Of course you ain't Saturday, aren't you, Kylie? For you it's already Sunday, isn't it, or something? Maybe if I'm paying attention, I would know it's someone right here. So, air, air is. Page of Pentacles, and then we have King of Cups, the Fool. Now, this, is, this could be like I mean, father and child. There is this fool that's basically Uranus, feeling the energy. And you have really, really have emotions over here, the shadow side. Check it out. Like in life, no, no, I don't want to do the right thing. This also can sometimes mean that, you know, going back in the old relationship, going back in codependence, feeling good about yourself, but still kind of like being dragged right where you shouldn't be dragged, right? Getting enemy, which is reverse, it's very similar to good news mm -hmm. to enemy. So, let's, okay, so where do I start over here? The shadow side really worries me. And because it, this is the devil card, it is really, really upright. This is like also a room of, of water, lagoons, right? And the two of them are connecting with emotions. Something is really messing. Everything starts to work fine. The entire week is going to be just fine. And then you just maybe a real there is a realization. Also, this could mean that you might be dating a Capricorn on the positive side. On the negative side, that exes are coming out from the woodwork. Get messy and maybe you're going right back with your exes as well. But this card is really interesting to see when it's up, but when it's reversed, telling me that possibly there is the end of some kind of page of pentacles and king of pentacles is telling me that they're like, they're not thinking they're playing the role, right? But somebody is like supportive and somebody's more kind of like, like and page of pentacles can indicate this. And king of pentacles, it's, it's kind of like some form of an emotional support. Be together, but they don't have to be. It's, it's almost like a, a friend or a relative of some sort, right? That because they're very positive and they're very encouraging and it's really, really important. In the past, you had your progress blocked and maybe you kind of have a sign that your progress was blocked because of so and so. The truth was like just simply the stars were not on our side. The whole record 2020 was blah. And 2021 is really not looking up either, right? But we are at least like realizing, oh heck, mask are probably, probably here to stay. We all hate it. So kind of like end of some kind of like if something is a close call i would really advise guys here this card is also very indi indication that 
He went over to look on the surface as well, and you're very attractive. You really think well, this time around something's going to work. So this could also mean that you're entering that and you're not really differentiating the vulnerability, and that can be your downfall. This is a really good route, a good signifies prosperity and success, but it does, you know, in the sea you have ebb and flow, right? You have the tides. Similar kind of like in human life, there is like a season for everything. You really have to try to reach calm, and the devil card doesn't, talks about there's like lots of going on. So for you, there are going to be lots of things happening that you, you actually might even find that you're observing other people experiencing things and you're going to feel like, why is the I'm feeling void? And maybe that's going to make you spring into the action because you don't like these kind of like things. So when this room really an uh, excellent woman, but not for you. Why? Because, as I told you, indicates patience. Kind of like still and maybe not jump into something that is really offered, so that's crucial. Kind of like jump into something that you know you're not 100% on board with it, then very, very soon in the future, a fair wind, if you wish, will kind of blow in your direction, kind of like very, very soon. This is indicating your time is going to come. Make irrational kind of like things, even though in the moment it feels good. It kind of sucks because sometimes, you know, if you're hungry, you kind of like saying to my clients, I know that you know this really. But on the other hand, if you think that eating is going to send you to, to, to the merge, then maybe you should just wait, kind of a thing. Uh, you curls here. All right, so who is next? Oh, I've got two. So, Leo. A reverse. You have only but the code reverse and you have the okay Leo tower reverse not a good thing something unconventional going on over here high priest is always about the marriage about the rules about the religion they're flipping it around and you're kind of like heading into something that can cause keeps going like this that's kind of like I had this line before my eyes right so it's a kind of like downfall but then you're managing to get back on your feet which is kind of like great so let me just get those Supporting cards, ooh, a merchant, and you will have some lack of faithfulness situation, and get the room right here as well. And this is also the opposite direction. It's the cone that is the. It's really interesting because merchant it doesn't have much really insight over here, right? Merchant is more or less somewhere, and now you're expecting some kind of return. Maybe you're invested in some kind of a process of something that is really, really happening, and maybe something like this doesn't happen. Because that's why you have, uh, maybe you're faithful to something that you're going to find. This is just having that sense of, I oh, don't want to do it. Just think it's a little bit about the pampering of some sort. You can talk about it, which kind of like really goes up to your Leo's alley if you really want, right? <coughs> so, cause the tower is reversed. I really think there's like something going on in your life. You might be with somebody. You might be having a relationship. Because this is clearly the most likely interpretation that there is like some kind of investment. And that there is like some kind of infidelity or disloyalty or betrayal. Or it's kind of like it's telling me that there has been a change in some relationship. So that, of course, will happen with everything that I mentioned, like it's a goal or unethical, right? Because you need to understand this is kind of like nine of cups. The cup is now getting emptied, or that's where the tricky part comes in. At least has a tower upright, then tells you off, or like this, it's telling me something is happening in the background, and just going la 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 la, you're completely you know, and you go la 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 la, you're not hearing what's happening, even though other people are telling you red flag, red flag, red flag, stop sign, stop sign, stop sign. You're like just even stepping on the gas. This is not a good combination, but look at it. 16 and 5 is 21. Very, very important and really interesting uh, rendition of this higher font over here because we have the stars and we have the sun. So there's like this kind of like balance. And also, if you can see it, it's kind of like some cross doors. And there's like something that is really, really going on. Also, I like fun better when it's reversed. It really talks about a free flowing, it indicates relationship. You don't want, let's say, bad and everything, 
but there was still something going on because there was still some kind of a big queue, unfortunately, surrounded with two relatively negative. The Five of Pentacles can also feel the sign of the spring is coming. Right? That's what I'm looking for now in Toronto. Everybody. Generally, this is a card of devastation. And these two fives are clearly connected. Fives are always about um, some stern code or something like that, about people who tell you one thing, but then they kind of like act completely differently, and everything that kind of like was explained to you, now it's kind of different on the other side. It's reverse, but um, this is where the flow, even though going with the flow, and I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense, but this is simply kind of like, we're going with the flow wouldn't make any sense. So sort of like somebody tells you, oh, I have a wife and a kid, who would never consider this. It's not as dramatic as that. It could be much. Merchant is a little bit kind of like, um, as well, because it really tells me there. It's really talking about the thing is going to be that almost like going to get it and going to feel it. It's a flower, or it's a kind of a punishment, if you wish. This is kind of like a representing um, igniting of passion. You feel very passionate, but it's kind of passionate about somebody. And then, like, like maybe there's affection in sort towards somebody or towards you that is fading. Maybe the job lost its luster, if you really wish. Maybe it's simply now. Well, my hopes are not going to come to fruition over here. Because, in the end, and I really think the pool is connecting <coughs> to these three cards. It's kind of like, it's amazing. It's like the phoenix getting out of the ashes. You're kind of like saying, where do I go from here? It's kind of like the stuff that is so hard to gain, which is exquisite. And that's kind of like where you know it. So, Leo, you, you kind of like, even though you have a situation that's kind of like, not necessarily an enviable situation, you're going to simply spread your wings and be all this. Then we have to have six. What's now? Barbie, where are you? Barbie's working. So right now it's time for the doors. And I didn't prepare for the book one. I'll choose left center of the right door. So let me just do it for you. Got it. I think my evolve in a completely different direction. I think it's a shocking thing where uh, I love winter, but not my name. This tower means there's a reset. You have wasted so much. There's no. This, the direction is not sustainable at all. And even going in the direction, door, center door. And this is yes against all odds, guys. Even if you thought it is kind of like wish you have, change chances, or maybe you're just kind of asking just to ask. Well, now you put this in the universe. And now you only have to watch that you will get it to be aware of what you're wishing for kind of a thing, right? It does happen. And the right door is the five of swords. There are some other people, some barriers of some sort. It turns on like this. Anybody anyway, this is more or less your will or something. This actually has the potential of happening. It's going to happen in a way that you would feel like a complete loser even by getting your wish. And so guys, are you there? Like I'm now a little bit worried because I'm getting this weird um, you know, there's only five people. We usually have 20, 30. You're not hearing me, there's anybody there. Not sure what's going on. Being held, I'm not hearing from anybody. Meaning, Chris, Kylie, anybody? Oh my god. Guys, say something. Can you hear me? No. I'm going to do the angel cards for people who showed up. Initially for everybody, and then second one only for the moderators. And I'm not so sure this has to continue, but there I go, Chris. So, oh, now I don't have the beginning, so my apologies. I think Ming Yogi was first, Barbie was second, but I don't have everybody, guys. So if I forget somebody, you let me know. I just refreshed it and then I'll lose all the previous conversation. So let's go. Maybe yogi, you have humor. You know, don't take things seriously, right? And Barbie was next. Barbie. Uh, Barbie celebration is going to be Saturday Night Live thing. So just then on my screen, the next one I have, the first thing that I see is Kylie, good morning and happy Saturday. Or simply have some space for yourself and telling you to take advantage of it, right? So there's like something that really needs to be And then we have Chris. Uh, what did you send? It's like, and it's Kylie, I am Lorna H. Getting together with someone. Is there somebody's birthday over here? And I have Crystal Smith over here. So guys, if you're listening to this and you're not speaking, you're not speaking, 
than support on your own, like a need to connect. Then we have studio music over here. And that's for cooking. So, so far, so good. Uh, oh, you guys have no sound? Are you getting a sound now? Are you getting a sound now? Is this better? Is this better, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Try to close and reopen. It will work. The music until we try to figure it out. So. Tell me, guys, if you can hear me. Gemini, did Leo. So videos on now, you hear the stuff, none of it. You got it really stuff. Because otherwise people will hear me at all. And the entire time. I was like, where's Kat? Why are you why asking this? Are you hoping I'm oh, here? I'm fine. Why do you think so? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to click on start to if you lose me, just let me know right away because so now I put in there's always you're going to have it so guys I don't want to give you the summary. It was kind of like very, very intense. Sagittarius. <coughs> so, what you know, Barbie. <coughs> so, Aries is 43, <coughs> 31. And they were in this order. So, I can tell you this. Don't worry, Barbie. We're going to fix it later. <coughs> we're going to do it. So, Aries was first. Aries was second. Pisces was third. 
and Aaron was fish and Leah was sick. So guys, just want to tell you, everybody who is like so freaking patient, like I'm so proud of you. I don't think I would be this patient. You just waited like what? Almost like a, over an hour for the at YouTube. And there's like no notification whatsoever on my end that something's going to be going wrong. Okay. So, this one jumped in like when I did, what was the last one? The last one was a Leo. This one jumped with Leo. <coughs> and it's kind of like one and two. It's going to be, be kind of like told. So, there is a Scorpio. Before I get there, <coughs> I was talking to Unity Yogi. I said, I'm glad it's a COA. And I saw the illusionment that was really, really good. Thank you for uh, thank you for the suggestion. I really enjoy it. Oh, I love it. And Kyle, I was telling you, even if you don't have an earthquake, this is rich about getting that uh, free, what do you call it, month. Ooh, did you not hear me talking about cauliflower pizza? I was talking about it. Oh my god, you will see it. This is so crazy making your video so connected. I don't know how much you heard it, looks like none of it, but uh, I trust you. I want us to kind of work together. It's not crazy, but you know, <laughs> that's okay. That's right, and that's maybe what shut it down because it was telling me not to sound it was just telling me preview. So now I know that it's a kind of completely different video. Are you sure? Lots of complaints. So be it. So Scorpio, <coughs> let's just jump right in. Are you guys dealing with somebody who is a little bit apprehensive about the situation? Meaning you're, you're going to really find if you haven't heard me talking about cold or people not here if you're doing it, that's absolutely hilarious. So <coughs> Basically what I was doing, I was uh, using the cards and runes. So, King of Swords is always talking about very kind of like thought through action. It's almost like the opposite of what you are. You are not sort of like that you're not a thinker. You're really playing that. But you generally really go with your gut feeling. Evidence 100%. And this is exactly what will be happening. There's like somebody telling you, come on, there's like something that is self-evident and you need to go in a certain direction. Something is really, really happening, right? The core one is telling you, you are God feeling and recognizing it. Somebody is telling you, you cannot go. Somebody is actually telling you, you cannot go forward and you are moving forward. But you're moving forward with some kind of a level of sacrifice in a situation because this Eight of Swords, that simply tells me that there are still issues that need to be handled. It is about a situation where somebody still doesn't have final answers. They want to, but they are stuck in the situation. So this card gift, for some reason, to me, is very much like here as well. Now, that gets interesting over here. So, now, right under my feet, I'm doing like, okay, what did it, what did it draw? So this is really, really interesting, guys, over here, because the gift is reversed, and this root is, and it's a passion, it's insight, right? And that's exactly what I was telling you about. Gift maybe simply means that somebody was trying to, um, believing and understanding something, because when this kind of, like, reverses, it kind of, like, talks about the loss of some, or unexpected kind of, like, loss of So, simply because of the pandemic can mean an ability to save money, that you really, in order to move forward, and this also can talk about going forward in some kind of like legal action, you will lose the uh, ability to have enough money to do it. Something like that can actually really talk about it. Be very careful because you can talk about there is some kind of scam. What I would say, guys, for you to check because he is wrapped up in a whole bunch of strings of and she has this blindfold, she can like, take the blindfold off. She, this time around, you're listening to it's kind of like, also kind of like pushing in a situation that is going to get very tricky. The conviction that you have, you're still going to go forward. Be very careful because it could be far beyond imperfect. It's going to bother you a tiny little bit. We are so focused on the end goal and the signs have so we want something, move the mountains to find our way. And on the duality to really happen. As I said, you need to check the person. The person is, or don't also blame the person. I call it the protective box of the age of swords, being able or not being even willing to remove from their situation. So somebody saying, oh, you know, I don't have the money, let's say, to buy healthy food. But then you realize they do have enough money and they just organize it a bunch of different way. You tell them, well, this is how you can do it. And they just, the reason why they're not absorbing is not because they're stupid. It's just because right now 
to where they are, that they just cannot see even something that is a solution. And that's really, really important here to see. I am watching this guys. I'm like, I hope you're still there. Did I lose anybody here? Or you're still there, guys? I hope you are. So, just say something. And I think, oh, now I have 14 viewers, and that's kind of what would make this one more. So, cup of coffee. Thank you, Barbie. Okay, yes, 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 because before I was like, oh, next one is cancer. I'm really not sure how is YouTube going to present this video. That's going to be really interesting. I've thought about it because otherwise I will not have this stuff. Well, I'm not the poor thing. I feel bad for you guys. You're sitting there, right, like you're doing nothing. You're like thinking what's happening to me. Meanwhile, I'm chit-chatting. I'm thinking, well, everybody's in the wrong way today. Like, nobody really wants to talk to me. Okay, that's fine. There are days like that, right? Like, I mean, my ego is a <laughs> kind of healthy ego. It's normal. It can be sort of like normal at times. So we have a Knight of Cups. We have a Queen of Cups. We have a crown. What's going on, guys? Queen of Cups, I think it's you. Now, that's really interesting. It looks to me there's going to be some kind of rotation. or something that is going to... Somebody's probably in the forward uh, with you, and you want to know it. Turning the back to this person. This person is actually really nice. He's like and romantic and offering all of these beautiful things. Maybe it's simply not open, quote unquote, for business. Not feeling. And that's very confusing it is. But like, you make it put it in a, perp in, a, in a kind of like a round the block a few times, and it just that that really can happen. So the Empress is always like about the Venus, it's about the feminine principle. It's very important for you, kind of like you clearly almost like enjoying just I have to be blunt with and then you have surprise and then you have a doctor. It's kind of like I get a really positive card and then we get a doctor. A doctor always to me talks about depression. And then again I'm doing a cancer. You guys get to be very, very moody. Ooh. And then you have so well, that's fun, right? So this is kind of like that feels like so somebody wants to put kind of a sunshine in your life and you're not open. You're not willing to go in that direction. So I think this is literally you are in your own way this entire week. Because everything is done here. And I think by the end of the week say, okay, you know what? I have to kind of get out of my own way. So this card is just like a pathway to victory, if you wish. Somebody coming who is right. be a better fit for you than Knight of Cups. Uh, Knight of Cups is generally kind of like a romantic kind of like prelude or something like that. But for you in particular, being a water sign, it's like even, even kind of like more. So now you have also the sun. So it's a water and sun. It's like a sizzling kind of like stuff. And it's kind of expressing this glory and good fortune. It's like connecting to this Cancerian kind of like thing, right? So the appearance of this is kind of like, almost like your fate, if you wish, right? Because as I said, this is something that will even undo harm. So even let's say, if there's an accident and everybody freaking dies, like 10 cars in this accident, you want to be the one saying, this is how it is, right? It signifies happiness and harmony. It doesn't have negative effects. Card and tarot up, right? So sun, right? This is really, really linked. It's considered a really, really good prospect and good omen. I wonder if guys hear that feeling the very inability to trust that this would be the only explanation because this dude in this combination or this person, if you have men, somebody who is offering things unreservedly, they're literally understanding everything you're telling them, it's kind of like rewarding your relationship. This one is, and this is like that. And I really think that Arthur is in this doctor card. It talks about his emotional well-being, feeling the ability to trust people. He, you know, actually sometimes he wants to leave them and think somebody's so good for you. But they're really, really true, right? So there is like a huge loyalty in the situation. Who are really understanding you, who really, really want to help. Or maybe this can also talk about um, set work, that you also feel that, you know, sometimes we all have a little bit of PTSD where things happen and then we react negatively, called power in, uh, in tarot, and you react negatively even though maybe situations is completely innocent. So I would say, uh, sitting down or just be crying, things that are unreasonable, feel, feel powerful, and kind of like, I will not change this stuff. And unless it has a color that was never seen before, 
and unless it's served to me um, by a midget who has been so don't be a drama. And doors, I did doors, madame. I did doors, I even drew all the cards for everybody. Ah, I didn't be so moderated, it's going to be in the end. I still have Taurus, Virgo, so let's call this day. Sorry, Barbie. I know it's confusing because you guys don't know where I was, but here, yeah, I'm just going to show you. I am done with a few, I'm done with Sagittarius, I'm done with Aquarius, I'm done with Pisces, and I'm done with Pico Card. Ah, Aquarius, we read, you the first, happy birthday, and, Taurus, oops, and we have the Hermit, you want to isolate, you have Ace of Pentacles, you have Reverse, you have Seven of Cups Reverse, you have Nine of Pentacles. Now that's really interesting. There are nine like a like a bookend over here and also there is a one and nine. You want lots of things to happen. Have a vision kind of like a little bit uncertain about the direction. Like wherever you are, just everybody leave me alone. What kind of gives me that? Well, leave me alone. I'm just happy where I am. I don't need anything. A little bit of a almost like a breakup situation over here. It's kind of like being alone. Getting a doctor we are not in a mood for love. We are great romantic movies. Imagine that. I'm recommending the Chinese love story. But so, let's get a really here as well. So we can kind of like get a better idea. Like approach, your maybe health. Because Issa always talks about the iceberg. So this iceberg is really flowing and it does, doesn't look very dangerous, but it's going to just don't have reversal. So it um, really talks about patience. So there is like one sign that has six signs. You have Leo and Aquarius, not very patient, and the other. You do have actually, right now, like you are finding your time, or you know the time is on your side. So iceberg is unstoppable room. It can be an icicle, just like a glacier that I told you about. It possesses kind of like moving the mountain out of form. If you kind of have a specific thing in mind that you want things to happen, then those events are going to take their own speed. It's not going to happen how you want it, how you want it. It's really worrisome if somebody who is with to come around, the person is going to realize that there's something that is really, really difficult, right? So kind of like high expectations are going to come to nothing. You get a doctor and you start together and the color is reversed, right? This look is a husband me right now from me reading Taurus. This is really crazy i'm sorry about it i'm turning off the phone it's just like crazy it's like mercury retrograde happening right now so the doctor is always talking about needing to get fixed and it's funny my dad also needs to go to see a doctor and he's refusing kind of like that i'm seeing this right in the cards right but this is the upright card so basically means there are people who can help you the people who can give you advice and what remedies needed and it's going to be helpful and will resolve the problem but there is a scholar that's kind of like not listening. So this, for example, in my dad's case, can be interpreted he doesn't want to get vaccine. He, he qualifies and he can get vaccine in the first way. We have three stages. He can get it right away. No, he doesn't want it. But I cannot step in. I cannot get it for him. So it means he's putting me in jeopardy as well as a result. So guys, if you're Taurus or dealing with Taurus, there's like some kind of like a situation over here that is really taking place. There's some kind of like remedy and they're like somebody who, um, who just basically, uh, it's either kind of like illogical or there's like some kind of nonsense. Of course, my dad has dementia and I was expecting that everybody here is going to have dementia, but there's like going to be something that is not logical. There's something very impractical or there's a lack of, a lack of preparation for something. So... I also think that in some cases over here, the person thinks they can do certain things, but they don't have enough skills. They don't have enough preparation. So they are kind of like thinking, dunning Kruger syndrome. They're thinking of themselves higher than they are, and it seems like there is like some um, chilling in the air. And I don't know why this. Do we have any? Do we have any Tauruses over here that somebody can tell me how this reflects, if at all? That would really, really help. So, all right. So I put the two together. I want to separate them. The next one. So what we have three left. Did I put Taurus in the course? I didn't put. Uh, email goes to you automatically when I click on it. 
but I'm going to work on it and rework on it so we have a video, one video that's in the end. You know, Barbie is basically the one who is going to suffer because of it the most. So you shouldn't feel bad for me, you should feel bad for Barbie. She does such a freaking fantastic job. And stands together and put this like really attractive icon. So if you can, give her like a I mean, round of applause so we can kind of like acknowledge the hardware that she has. So Capricorns, guys. Our next Capricorn. Don't worry, I'm not going to let you hang in. Right. <laughs> oh, you have Ace of Cups. And then you have Ten of Swords. And then this one going to come through. Whew, this is heavy. It's just so happy when I see this Ace of Cups. Then you have the Ten of Swords all together coming to several combinations because this can be seen like either. So either 12 or 13. You see numerologically, 12 is the hangman, 13 is death. So 12 means needing to see something from somebody else's perspective. Understanding something from somebody else's perspective. Willing touch, right? That is really, really important. But there's like some kind of decision you're trying to make, even though maybe there's like something that you want, but there's like a not the possibility. Because you're going from emotional to overly analytical, and you're kind of like something that just kind of like cannot increase the course, which is confirming it. It's kind of like... You know, something is not good on a paper, and because of that, things are kind of like really percolating in your head. It almost like sometimes when you want to be negative, then we are just simply negative, even though this is the rune of progress. So this is like really uh, connecting to that, right? So there is like a thought of some progress that is kind of like falling flat on face, and no progress is really, really happening. Ten of Swords is, but it's almost like a one, right? So we have one, one, and it's really brewing. The karmically you need to kind of like sit well before you get this final kind of like message, right? Uh, right uh, uh, kind, of kind of final kind of like uh, understanding. So priest is always connecting with this. It's kind of like going from something that just started to bud and kind of like ended up kind of like like came in a way, um, a hurdle that kind of has been encountered also. So it's a neutral card when you go with a priest. This is kind of like, as I told you, the rune of progress. And it's kind of like something that takes courage. It's something that takes planning. And I think tension, tension fell flat on its face, right? Because it's almost like that something that happens doesn't fit, right? Remember how I said it to somebody else who has this priest. I said, look, there is like something that looks me to do it. And it's fully legal. And my dad... Um, he cut the grass at 8 o'clock in the morning, but that's legal. 8 o'clock in the morning, your pretty neighbor will hate you. Don't go with, I don't care. Well, you can, and then you'll be hated, and then nobody else will help you when you need help. Something like that, uh, circumstances in account. So if you catch yourself saying, oh, I don't care, you can do it anyway. Ask yourself if this is... Or it could simply mean that you need to... What's this all about? Usually you guys, Capricorns, you always have like a nice reading. And now this was like, woo, uh, let's catch up. Lee, I'm wondering if that's how it's... Oh my freaking God. And I was talking about that too in the first part. I don't know what's going on. You guys are pulling my legs. Because I was talking about how... Okay, you got groceries. CBO. I was talking to myself, lovely for her words. Hi Lizzie G. Uh, oh my gosh. I oh man, oh my gosh, this is the second person that I see from their tours. It just And we have Virgo and Libra left. Red get over here. That was the last week, Barbie. Yeah, I think it was tricky podcast last week. Number nine and one's reversed. So there is like a shift in energy. And it's kind of really interesting. Nine of Wands is kind of like a finale. But it doesn't feel like finale. You feel like that you have been doing something. There was something in your life that kind of like, it's almost like a ritualistic thing that we do. We do them on kind of like automatic, automatic plot, right? And all of a sudden, we're not going to feel it anymore. We're going to want to go. Chris says, I would rather get COVID than not need to see a lawyer. Don't say so. You never know like how diff how what level of difficulty you will have with COVID. And that's what I was telling you in the first part about the book that I read from Khan. He knew about the food was wrong. That's the name of the book that uh, I read. So Libra, going back to you. Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm going sideways. I want to, oh, you're a lawyer, and I agree. <laughs> Cute. That's the only thing. When I want to smile, uh, it starts to make some cough. Ooh, you have faithfulness over here. And let me get your rune. And let's see which one you get. Ooh, there's like something different. You're getting the rune of celebration. You're getting Yera over here. So this card here is this warrior. 
that this warrior is kind of like going through the battles and kind of like advancing, but they are not still winning the war, right? So there is like kind of a whole bunch of stuff they need to do. But yet in this stage, when upright, there is a decision, you know what, we are coming to the close, certain things will make sense, we keep doing same old, same old, let's continue. But it is reversed. There is like not willingness to continue something. Whether, whether there is like something that is going back and forth in your situation, that you are kind of like de declaring this is a nonsense, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do this anymore, right? And it looks to me that you are kind of like nodding all your eyes, crossing all your T's, you're doing this some kind of budgeting homework, trying to see certain things add up. And for you, I think you're deciding it's really not adding up, right? But instead of feeling sad, which you kind of anticipated, you're actually feeling, okay, this is great. I, I feel differently. This can also mean that even within a relationship, that sometimes there's a need for renegotiating terms. And you're just saying, look, I need somebody who's faithful. I need somebody that we have a common goal, that we kind of like are building this life together. You need, I need somebody who is on a daily basis willing and is the same as me. If you're a homebody, you want another homebody. If you're a kind of like adventurer, you want another adventurer. So there is like, you're not really going out. It's not about not being open-minded, but if you're not really, it's kind of like a pragmatic understanding, right? that kind of like disagreements would minimize as, as kind of like a result. So there's almost like um, saying to yourself, you know, it's kind of like time for me to feel, to put the roots, right? You also have the dog and their symbol of fidelity and loyalty and protection as well, right? You see my doggo. My doggo looks like um, he is a cutie pie, but like, I mean, if you just stretch an arm towards me, hey, you're so cute, they go, like, ah! He also kind of tear you apart. He's like, don't touch me and don't touch my mommy. So here, it is really telling me that you're setting the stage, this is what they want, and I don't care if it's going to cost me that you walk away or that I lose this job. I need to feel this way because otherwise, I just get crazed out. So all of a sudden, this really manifests, and there is like, this feeling of fullness, of abundance, of recognition, of love, esteem, right? And they're like really no negative cards. You're just like seeing that certain ways were not really productive and that you're probably better off kind of like kind of like having these new ideas and recognizing what you are. So this rune also doesn't have a negative meaning, right? And this rune is talking about the trials and tribulations. So this clearly connecting to this nine of wands, right? Because it's kind of like, and I forgot which three runes were, but this, this rune really talks about something that comes to those three runes that I've forgotten about, that comes to, to a help and, 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 and kind of like relief. Calvary is coming. So you see somebody coming, you're happy. That kind of like celebrations is really, really happening, right? So symbolically, this also relates to August. So there's like something that might be growing over a time because this is also showing the process. And it's also kind of like, it's really indicating spring of some sort. So if this is not literally spring, like on a calendar, this really talks about the springing into something new action or something else, right? So you are kind of like at a major turning point in your life. There's like some security in you guys and impact of that, impact of any misfortunes or things that really didn't go, or, or, or kind of like, or that didn't kind of like work in your favor, and now they're kind of like going to fade. You're going to feel this was not a chapter, and this is a book, and you're putting this book somewhere on the shelf, you just really don't care. This is kind of like talking about success, and successful completion of a project. People are coming to you, you have well people, people you can trust. You know, this also can indicate sometimes, in this combination, maybe move, or moving in a new home, it's good news anyhow. So it's going to be some kind of like excitement, but also kind of like, it's going to be a little bit of element of surprise, right? So as it doesn't have the uh, inverse situation, it's always positive, right? But this also talks about, that almost like somebody starts the time and bomb is ticking. And from this point on, January 23rd, there is going to be about a year when something really, really happens. 
you're going to really like it because you're going to go in a new and different direction. Something will happen. So Libra, this is a big reading for a change. So yeah, that's what happens. So yes, Barbie, you should tell us all about it. What's going on? Oh, Libra Moon graduation Wednesday. Oh my goodness, Kylie! Congrats, congrats, congrats! <coughs> wow, that's amazing. And um, and I didn't put Capricorn. Did I put Libra? And I didn't put Libra. Oh my goodness! So let me just try to backtrack. Are we here? And it's Virgo. Now I know I didn't see the time. I kept saying, this is weird. I don't see the time. It was the same preview. I didn't know why it showed me preview. Thanks, you two. You really messed up. Congrats, Kylie. Man, you really went through it. Oh my gosh, you have the star. Virgo has doors. So... There are like so many messages over it. And that's a transformation. And that's kind of like is fortified with the star over here in this project, right? So there's some, some transition that you are really holding on to something. It's going to even involve spending money and you're saying, nope, I don't want to spend money. I'm not a slave. You're holding it to yourself. But the truth is that for you, as long as it's done before Mercury retrograde and Mercury, so that's pretty sweet, certain things can be very, very beneficial to be done. This is also erecting walls. It's happening that is going very, very fast already. I don't know how this relates. You have a daughter, maybe you have a co-worker, somebody who is younger than you. Generally, when I do the entire grand tableau with the chief woman, can I represent somebody who is the younger lover, right? If you wish or something, right? But um, it clearly would be somebody younger than you daughter, sister, cousin, or damsel in distress. It's also kind of like character-wise, somebody who is sweet and well-mannered and polite, right? But somebody who also a bit, right? So that, to me, can tell me that maybe open up, kind of like dealing with that, right? Because this card can represent either a person or a person in self-explanatory, but situation, you know, like that your understanding of situation, you're making decision, and they are premature decisions, kind of like allow certain things to get and then your rune is otilia it's the rune of a even though the ace of swords always talks about two blades right in you so you are going to prematurely possibly render a, a, a kind of like some Lenormand the tower right it indicates traditions become more valuable in life and you're talking about an engagements and marriages right and also dealing with wills and family property. Maybe to decide something about inheritance. Maybe you're telling the other person, no, we're not going to talk about it. I want you to be well. And that's foolish because certain things need to be a little bit put in order. It can signify inheritance, but it's not something mental was rather rich, a big envelope, kind of formal thing. She, and she was telling me this, not even realizing that I'm picturing this whole thing there, right? In the old court, and they didn't appreciate it at all. And, oh my god, this is so valuable, they didn't appreciate this. Something like that could be just... So, you are the younger woman. And you need to advise, say, uh, from older people, or from experienced better who are, right? And maybe you're asking yourself, Maybe that's kind of like you're thinking what, what my mom would do. Kind of like that's really important because kind of like, oh, you did go to the Taurus, okay. <laughs> okay, put you here. Sorry, Lizzie, she's just... So this is getting us to make a wish, guys. I believe both. Just give me a second. I can already uh, ship it to Barbie in a few seconds. Oh, I just love Rocket Book, guys. If you're a person who always kind of like writes notes because I always get some ideas, this is freaking ideal. Really ideal. Okay. And believe it or not, this is already sent to Barbie. The screen. And Barbie, uh, you know, I'm going to look into that. So three more uh, doors. So just ask yourself a question. Yes or no, more or less. Even though you know I elaborate a little bit. So number one, so there is like something telling you like you should go to work. Usually the uh, outcome is positive. It's still telling that it's going to be just in progress, in process and progress, but not necessarily because after all, kind of like going in this boat, he has the six swords, so you know it's going to sink, right? And if the cold, if the water is too cold to swim in it, hypothermia and whatnot, right? But um, 
even though if in the other shore it's actually going to be better than it was. So the hopefulness is just a change of ambience or something is going to kind of be beneficial kind of a thing. Or something needs to be done for certain things to be accomplished. The door number two is Ace of Swords. So this is a resounding yes. You need to do some sacrifices for this to happen, but somebody else is also going to do sacrifices. It's going to feel that this is a mutual, there is like some kind of strength, and it's going to happen really quickly, like maybe today kind of a thing, right? And the door number three is Ten of Wands. So who somebody said is what door number three was it you, Kylie? But yeah. So Ten of Wands is interesting. Generally, in a general Rider White, traditional Rider White deck, this would be no, but not in this deck. In this deck, this doesn't look like such a big burden to him. And he's not just like a peasant. He is somebody who is a royalty who is well done. So there is some kind of like, sh there, there is some kind of chip on the shoulder, clearly, that is really happening over here. Somebody has a chip on the shoulder, somebody thinks, um, a little bit kind of like, there's like somebody who is really well off, as it's kind of like showing this card, and somebody who is not really turning back. Just because they're turning back doesn't mean you can kind of like come ahead because they will have ability to listen to you. You still have to be a little bit alert about this card because you don't know everything about the situation. The situation is moving forward, but you can still down the road expect, expect surprises. So let's see what happens about that. Wow, look at this. We have two hours and you only heard half an hour out of all of that. So what was this? the last one, Virgo, yes, if you read. So, what I'm going to do now, Moz, you're going to get your cards and messages. You did get cards before. But now you have to watch and listen and to see what's up with that. So that's going to be really, really crazy. So, let's see. Now, I have to go back in order of appearance to see was three yes or no? Three, three was tricky. Uh, it's a yes, but it's saying that things are going to shift, and there's still not enough uh, knowledge of everything, kind of like to put everything in perspective. But initial, initial stage will be yes. All right. So I think the very first one was Nitin Yogi, and you are getting education. You know, it's something that you'll study, it's something you will want, and it's going to make you feel very good. But I also kind of think it could be you who is going to educate somebody. You're going to kind of like render your advice, and it's going to be really, really helpful. So it'll be in the right time, the right place to do that, right? Then I see here Barbie, and this is what I got. Tenderness. Kind of like, it's going to, somebody's going to draw the best out of you, or... Literally, it could be a kitty cat that you're going to adopt or feed or something. Uh, it's, it's going to be a really, really good feeling. It's going to make you and somebody else feel really, really good. So that's going to be awesome. Then I see Chris over here. And Chris, you have a joy. It's going to join love. There's like some kind of like really jumping out of joy kind of like a feeling over here. It's lovely, it's kind of like good to have like this fulfilling positive energy, so that's kind of like a great. And Kylie, Kylie, power. Kylie, this is your diploma. Somebody is really rendering this to you, giving you, anointing you. You're going to feel like somebody put a crown on your head, like in an upcoming message, at least that's how I see it. And Madame Lorna H. Lorna H is openness. Open yourself to the universe because the energy wants to flow your way. It's just like something is blocked, so this is really telling you you just just need to allow certain things to happen, right? And who else do I have? This is Barbie. This is Lorna H. Did I do Chris? I did Chris. Um, Studio music over here. Studio music. Understanding. Oh, something is going to start to sit well for you, I think, and it's going to really work well that way. 
and it's going to be something that you kind of like need to process in your own head for things to kind of like really move forward. And I think this is it over here from what I see. Right? I'm just checking, just making sure. Here's me trying to retire a billion of times. Did I miss somebody, guys? Lift your hand if you did. You cannot read to everything. I think this is it. I think this is all it was. Oh, pulled back into Scorpio to the, taking a Scorpio to the beach today. Well, enjoy it. So guys, um, let me try to deal with this fallout of this YouTube issues and help Barbie to create a mess once it see also what's going to show up when I disconnect. You guys have a great week. And the next time, I'm still going to see it in January. It's going to be the 30th. It's going to be Mercury retrograde. So I need to prepare for this craft times 10. So recording and stuff. And if it don't show up on time, please don't panic. You are like beyond patient. Really, really adore you for this. But next week is going to be something like that as well to be expected. So guys, I love you. You kind of like have a great, great, great week. And let me just play some music for you. Like, where is my collection of the stuff that I play? So, let's do the same thing. I absolutely love this happy music over here. And happy life. And then, guys, next time I see you is the 30th. So, be well. Just make sure that you watch the first part because it was some really, really good messages there. Love you, love you, love you all. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. for being here thank you hopefully going to see everything in the installment that comes up so let me kind of deal with this love you all Didn't go to Melody. Why? Wow. Okay, I did send it. Okay.
Burn. Round of applause so we can kind of like acknowledge the hard work that she has. So Capricorns, guys, you are next. Capricorns. Capricorns. Oh, and I did abundance of the when offers to us. Oh my freaking god, I don't